Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Salami and today we are back with another video and it is Oblivion. Yes, Oblivion on Steam Deck. This is a guide to get native controller support up and running. It is pretty close to perfect, but not perfect. So in this video, I'm going to show you the complete installation guide and then I will have at the back end of this video, I will try and timestamp it all. Uh, the few controller changes you will need to make in steam os just to get some extra uh what's the word utility out of the steam deck um, including using the back buttons and the left and right track pads just to make the experience just that little more easier to use and from there let's crack into it Alright guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to desktop mode which you can do by pushing the steam button, going down to power and switching to desktop and you're going to want to download a few things here, I'll put all the links in the description below. The first one is Northern UI, um, there's two versions you can download, there is just the standard Northern UI and there is also vanilla, so the normal UI, Northern UI will make your game look like Skyrim and the uh, standard or vanilla version will keep your game looking like Oblivion, which honestly, I want my game to look like, if I'm playing Oblivion, I want it to look like Oblivion. But if you like the setup of Skyrim, maybe you could do that. If you've only ever played Skyrim, you might want to keep that same aesthetic and you'll know how to use the layout. But I can't personally attest to it because I've not used it. Um, and you will need a Nexus mod uh, login to download these. So PSA, make sure you make an account for Nexus mods and then download these files. So Sky BSA, um, not a lot to say about this program, but it is a extra little mod that seems to help. So um, yes, and the next and final one is OBSC, which is your mod manager for Oblivion. Um, the standard one doesn't seem to work, so I'm using the beta one. I'm just showing here that if you click that, that doesn't actually download what you need. You need to use the link uh, further down the page, which I will show, which is the one under assets, that one there, okay? Not the one up the top, because that's just to check that it hasn't got viruses in it. Okay, so once you've downloaded all of those, they're going to be in your download folder here. Now, my recommendation is to make a folder for each one of these um, because when you extract them, it, you don't want to fill your downloads folder full of these random things. You want to keep them kind of a little bit self-contained. And reading online, if you extract them to the Oblivion folder, it doesn't always work as intended. So you'll see here I make one called OBSE one called Sky, and one called UI. Um, and then I drop the zip files inside of each one of those folders, and then I extract them. So I'm just gonna fast forward this, and I'll meet you once it's done. Once your extraction's done, the next step is to get to your Oblivion file structure. So the easiest, easiest way to do it is to go to your library on the desktop version of Steam on your Steam Deck. Scroll down until you find it. You can either use your left or right. I know I've put a couple of hours into this, so I'm just looking on my main screen here. But either way, you're going to pull the left trigger on the folder, and then you're going to go to Manage and click on browse local files okay and here you're going to get see your file structure for oblivion as you can see i've already done it so i'm just going to copy and paste it over the top of what i've already done just to show that it works 
um, and you can do these in of any order. Wow, you need to do OBS first. Highly important that you do the OBS first because this gives you the structure of the rest of the um, files. So what you want to do is you want to copy and paste this entire lot. Probably best to copy and paste and not cut it like I'm doing here, but it's up to you. And what you're going to do is you're going to paste all eight items. And what you want to make sure is that you tick overwrite and um, write into. You want to make sure that uh, you're overriding or writing into. You probably won't get as many overwrites as me because I've, I'm overriding the mods that I've already installed, okay? Next, I do you, uh, Sky. Now, you want to make sure you copy the OBS E folder and paste it. And you want to write into, okay? And write into, and you won't get an overwrite because you won't have the file in that folder, but that is what you want to do. And then finally, you have the UI. Now, this does not go in the um, Oblivion files. It goes, uh, you copy these and it goes into data within Oblivion, okay? So you'll see me here, select them, cut them. I go back to Oblivion and then I go into data here, okay? These have to go on this one and you paste them in here. And again, you want to write into and overwrite depending on what pops up. But you want to make sure these are all written into, okay? And you've got one more step after this. And I will put the uh, command line in the description below that you can then copy and paste into the file. Okay, so we want to go one back to common where all your games are in your um, Steam library. And you're going to right click on it. Okay, so you can see we've gone into Oblivion. We go back. Now we're going to pull the left trigger and we're going to bring up... Uh, bring up terminal okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to paste in this command line that i will have in the description okay and now to execute it you push hold the steam button and press x which will bring up your keyboard and then you pull r2 to push enter okay and if it comes up looking like that you've done it correctly and that is the final step for installing controller support for oblivion so after this step here, we're going to go back to gaming mode and I'm going to go over with some of my controls. So what I'm going to do at some point, I will upload this template to the Steam library for everyone to use. But I thought I'd go over it here now. So if you want to copy it and you can't, uh, you can do that also, okay? So there's a few things you need to do. You need to make the right trackpad as mouse with left click. Um, and you want to turn the left trackpad into a radical menu with one through to nine. And you want to make the right joystick a joystick mouse, okay? Um, as if you leave it as a right joystick, it just doesn't seem to function correctly for me. I'm not sure why. Um, if you guys have done this and it's worked properly, please let me know what I'm doing wrong here. But I just can't seem to get it quite right when I use it. When you get to the screen here, um, I just hold down the Steam button and use the right thumbs, uh, the right trackpad to click through. Okay. Now you'll know if it's worked if you can skip through these with pushing the options button. And another way to check is go to options and head down to controls. And if you see swap sticks controls, you know that you've completed the installation of this mod correctly, okay? When you're in this screen though, you actually lose control of the controller. So don't be frightened, but if you're in, as you can see back in these menus, it works fine. You can see here, you can max this game out because of its age. Um, you can't have anti aliases anti-aliasing on as well as HDR lighting. So you've got to pick and choose uh, out of those two settings what one you want. And I think that goes for bloom lighting as well. I think you can have um, anti-aliasing anti with bloom, but you can't have HDR. So we're just going to load up a save here and I'm going to just show you some gameplay. Uh, I haven't quite finished the controls, but you'll see that well, you can't see my hands 
Um, I don't think it's necessary for me to record it uh, with a my hands out. As you can see, what the radical menu does here is it brings up the shortcut wheel for Oblivion, and it lets you switch to things quickly. Um, so there's no. I didn't realize this as I researched it. Oblivion's um, quick menu, even on console, was on the D-pad, but it wasn't like you held a button to bring it up, right? So it's one of those ones where it's the moment you click it is what you got, and it's the same on console. So it's the same, it's exactly the same. It's just really awkward, but it's still very useful. Once you know where you've put all your spells and abilities on there, you can switch between them much faster than coming into here and going through your menus. Um, sorry if I'm going through this really fast. Now, I want to say this really quickly because I'd forgotten this because of the age of this game. This map, this is it. You can't zoom it in. You can't zoom it out. This is the map. But that is why you have the right trackpad as a mouse with um, left click. Yes. So you can scroll yes. around the map with the right trackpad. Otherwise, it becomes a real... Um, pain in the bum bum so that is how it's done um, and I'm going to show you here really quickly how you add things to the radial menu menu sorry menu menu um, you actually have to you have to go into your inventory now you see here these seem to break the controls a little bit but you can just use the right trackpad and click on continue um, and you'll be fine. Uh, let's see if I do this. As you can see, A will pick up things. Um, so you go across to say your items here and you'll scroll to what you want. I'm gonna go, I think I go to my weapon here, yep. And so what you do is you'll hold the trackpad to whatever number you want it on. Oh, I'm just showing here. If you hold A, you can pull, pick things up which is again another setting I've done. But yeah, so you scroll down to the item. I've got it equipped now. It's very nice. I can medicine. equip a weapon and a sword. Brilliant. Thank you. you use the trackpad to find the number you want it on and then you press A. Otherwise it won't connect it. And there you go. Now I've got my, my arrows and my weapon. So yeah, you highlight the weapon in the menu you then select it with the radical menu like the number you want it on and then you push a to confirm it's going to go there okay um at the, after i do a little bit of gameplay here i will then go through the controls a little bit slower in the menu screen and show you what's how it all works um as you see here i can't figure out how to leave the conversation but there's a x at the very bottom and you can just push down and across to it to exit the conversation wheel. You'll see I figure it out. There you go. So that is basically the controls for the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. It works almost like a 360, but not quite. But it's it's pretty close. And I think for, for us Steam Deck users, it's perfect. And I also have the back buttons configured to be quick save, quick load, so you can get to where you need to be really, like you can save without having to go into the menu all the time, so that's that, all right, I will jump ahead here, and I will show you how to use the, uh, how I've set the control up, so you can copy it, if you can't find it on the Steam community page, for downloading of controller schemes. If you go to look for it, I'm going to call it Salami Oblivion and you should be good to go. All right, guys, I'll see you in a second. All right, as you can see here, we've got left bumper, right bumper, right trigger, left trigger. And then I've got the back buttons as F9 and F5 for quick save and quick load, uh, Q key and scroll wheel up and down. I haven't quite got that worked out quite well perfectly and that's for third person to zoom in and zoom out but I had it as tapping would zoom in and holding would zoom out but I'm quite not quite not finished with that. Um, as you can see here I've made a second command for A 
and that allows you to pick up weapons like I did the sword earlier okay so yeah you just need to make a command one and a command two if you need to look at that just pause the video and copy it if you can't find this on the store as you can see here I've made a joystick mouse um, and a right the right one is a joystick mouse and then the right trackpad is mouse with a left mouse click and the left trackpad is a radicule menu with one through eight okay and then I also made it continuous um, and that just makes it so it sticks up which means when you're looking through a, the actual oblivion wheel it stays up while you're looking through it so yeah that's about it I just want to say thanks guys hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know um, how you're playing oblivion and if this guide is working for you or if it isn't all right guys I really appreciate every, appreciate everything have a great night and I'll see you in the next one